Hello and happy Thursday to everyone. If you're new to the channel, my name is Marcus and I'm the lucky husband of Cassie and we are leading the charge on a little reselling business called the CAC Attack. And I'm coming at you today with another great information-based video, but before I get to it, I wanna share with you one detail. I know a lot of you have asked in the comments in recent videos for us to make videos about how we list items, how we take pictures, basically that entire process and I promise we will be making those videos soon. A lot of where those videos are gonna take place are in our office, a separate office building that you've seen uh, some of our videos a while back. We shared with you some of the updates on the remodeling and we still have a little ways to go with that, but I promise we're gonna be making those videos soon and then we're gonna flip it around and Cassie's gonna be on the other side of the camera and that's when you're gonna start having some fun. So be on the lookout BOLO for those videos and I promise they are coming soon. But tonight, I got some good stuff for you. Now we've already made three of these videos, three pants videos, top men's pants that you wanna be on the lookout for and we might as well make a fourth one. I mean, why not? Because I've got some good stuff to share with you. Now I'm gonna repeat a couple of brands but the rest of the brands that I'm gonna share with you tonight I have never shared with you before in all of those three pants videos that we made previously. So I keep running across these items, great brands, and I'm passing them on to you. So we're gonna kick it off. First one up, I sourced this just the other day. And so I'm gonna show you the little hit first. See this little hit? All right, so let's go ahead and fan these out. So these are a performance feeling type of pant. They're very, very lightweight. So let me go ahead and show you the tag and kill the suspense. Free Fly. I don't know if any of you have heard of this. I had never heard of it before. But let me give you some stats on Free Fly. When you look up on eBay, men's pre-owned Free Fly pants, there are 116 listed and 142 that have sold. I had never seen this brand before in the thrift, in the wild. And when I saw it the other day, I was like, oh, that's something different. Let me check it out. And boy, was I glad I did. These pants sell for anywhere from about $25 to $40. I'm sure some of them are maybe model and style dependent. So I didn't really do a deep dive on certain models or styles. The fact that there's only 116 listed and 142 that have sold tells you that if you see free fly on any pair of pants for men, you need to pick it up. If you can get it at a reasonable price, these were $5.99, so $6. And they're gonna flip into probably about $30 to $35. So be on the lookout for free fly. They're a good one. Free. All right, next up, we got another pair. These look very similar. They're gray pair of pants. There's actually no hit on the back, but there is a little hit on the front. So let's bring these in. As you can see it, Sims. These are fishing pants. Let me show you on the inside, same thing. These are really cool because they have like little breathable, let's see if we can turn it on this side, you can probably see it better. So I imagine when you're wearing these, they have that breathable mesh, so they're very, very comfortable and cool. If you're in hotter temperatures like Louisiana and the, the skeeters are coming after you, you'll be wanting to wear some Sims fishing pants, even if you ain't fishing, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but these, when you look up on eBay, Sims pre-owned men's pants, there are 151 listed and 272 that have sold. This is a major brand to be on the lookout for. These pants sell anywhere from about 25 to 40. Now there are some that I did see that sell for over 100. It looks like those are more in maybe like a, a waiter type of uh, pant, something more heavy duty. You probably won't run into those as much, but you are gonna run into these. We've actually already sold a pair of these. We found two of these in the same Goodwill and we've already sold one pair. In fact, we could probably flash that sold comp just so you can see. But these 151 listed, 272 that have sold. Let's show them one more time. Sims. You definitely, when you see those, pick them up and you're gonna make some money. Now this one 
is an interesting one. I ran across this one the other day. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you these. I'm gonna show you the back first. I'll keep a little suspense going. These are not that lightweight, breathable performance type. This is almost like a pair of jeans, jeans or almost like the, the Carhartt type of thicker material. And I don't know if they make performance uh, type of pants, but let me go ahead and show you the tag. Proof. Now these pants are proof that you can find some really good items. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna stop trying to be a stand-up comedian. But seriously, when you look up proof pants, pre-owned for men, there are 431 listed and there are 345 that have sold. Okay, so that's not like the previous ones where it was over 100% of a sell-through rate. But that's not the only good news. The other part of the good news is these pants ain't just selling for 25 to 40. These pants actually are selling anywhere from probably 30 to $60. The value of these is just a one notch above the ones that I just shared with you. And so you're probably going to get 30, 35, $40 for these. These particular pants that I sourced are in amazing condition. Let's turn them around on the back and show you. There's nothing ultra special about them. They do have the just the back outer pockets like jeans. They have a little snap looking hit on each side of the pocket, each corner. And then they also have, I don't know if you saw this, they have the proof hit on one of the pockets on the front. But you can tell these are quality pants. They also have like the little, the little seams on the back. Mm -hmm. But this is a major Bolo brand that you wanna be on the lookout for. I've never seen them before. I haven't heard any resellers talk about them. They may have, I just haven't heard it, but. Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and let y'all know that these proof pants sold in 30 minutes for $44. This specific style Huckberry has over 100% sell through rate and this was one of our fastest sales to date. Proof is one that you wanna put on your list and it's gonna make you some great money. So don't forget. All right, next one up. Now before I share with you this particular, well look, I'm gonna do a little teaser here. Let's, let's okay. play a little game here. So I'm just gonna show you this first of all. You see Vineyard Vines? All right, so these are Vineyard Vines pants. I'm gonna share with you the sell-through rate when you search on eBay, Vineyard Vines pants for men pre-owned. There's 5,700 listed, and there are 2,000 that have sold. We want to pass on that, but we don't want to pass on all Vineyard Vines. So I'm going to share with you a cheat code, just like remember Lucky Brand jeans, and it was 367 Vintage Boot. The rest of them are a pass, at least for us they are, but 367 Vintage Boot was a cheat code because the sell-through rate's really good. It's gonna make you some money. Okay, so Vineyard Vines is the same thing. I'm gonna share with you a cheat code, and I know some of you are experienced and you know what the cheat code is, but just play along, okay? For all of us that didn't know before until recently, like me, all right, you ready for the cheat code? So first of all, these are just performance type of pants. So we're going back to the ones like Sims and um, the other ones that we showed before. Nothing too special about them, but let me show you what the cheat code is. Vineyard Vines, let's get in close. You see on the go, pant, on the go pants. When you look up Vineyard Vines on the go pants for men, there are 394 listed and 521 that have sold. That's amazing. So now we just took a, a name brand, Vineyard Vines, that's a pass. And if you'll just open the pants up just a little more, when you're in good ones, sometimes in our Goodwills, them things are shoved in there so tight. I mean, I feel like I'm in the gym working out just to, to get the pants spread apart, but I'm doing it. I mean, I'm literally walking out of there and my, my arms are a little bit sore. Seriously, I'm not joking. Sometimes my arms get so sore of going through items and high racks and all, but I'm doing all I can because I wanna make sure that I see on the go and then I know that it's a go to be making some money. You're gonna get about 25 to $35 for these and you know they're gonna sell fast with that kind of sell-through rate. I can't wait to get these listed. I've been holding these so that we can make this video. It's about time to list these and make some money. 
So remember that, vineyard vines on the go. You pass on some, but you don't pass on all. You just, you gotta have the knowledge because what do I say? Knowledge is power. Knowledge all right, power. so next one up. Now, this is a, a name brand that I have shared in a previous video, but what I shared was a pair of joggers. I found, I sourced a different type of um, style of pants. So let's show you these. So these all kind of look like the same pants. They're like khaki or gray. They're just a performance type of pant. Uh, these have the outer pockets, but let me go ahead and show you the brand. Let me show you the tag here. So this is Built, B-Y-L-T. And if you didn't know the brand, you wanna have this etched into your mind. Where is our other little hit? Okay, here we go. It's on the side. These are quality pants. This is an awesome brand. Look, it has the little zipper on the side, which is pretty cool, like a little side pocket. But when you look up built pants, and I didn't get into any specifics, I do think there is a certain model that's called Everyday, which is really, really good. But just to show you how good this brand is for men's pants, when you look up built pants for men pre-owned, there are 433 listed, and there are 644 that have sold. And these sell for anywhere from $30 to $50. So this is a strong, strong brand. It's holding its value, it's selling fast, and you want to be on the lookout for it. Again, we've sold some joggers recently. We can probably throw up that sold comp, but these were regular pants. These are a little bit of a smaller size, but I've seen sold comps when I was studying. Um, I've seen sold comps that for a size this small, these are a 31 waist. I saw some, I think a 30 or 29 that sold, and they sell for $35, $40. So this is a great pickup. Be on the lookout for Built. You're gonna make some money. Here's another brand that we have shared in a, a, one of our first pants video, I believe. But I wanted to share, with it, uh, share it with you again. So this is Prana. And Prana, some resellers have said that Prana is starting to fall off, and that probably is the case. We pass on most of their shirts, um, long sleeve, short sleeve, t-shirts, things like that. But the pants I do think still uh, sell well. And I think it depends on the, maybe the style. But when you look at Prana pants for men pre-owned, there are 3,300 listed and 2,600 that have sold, okay? So that's not a great sell through rate. It's not a terrible one. So that tells you that these are right on the brink of a, being a pickup no matter what the model is. But I did a little deeper research and I don't typically share this um, in, a, in a video like this unless it's something like the Vineyard Vines on the go where it's just really, really specific and you pass on everything else. I think I would probably not pass on Prana. I would pass on Vineyard Vines except on the go, but I'm not gonna pass on Prana. But I do wanna share with you what this particular uh, pair of pants are. These are called Brion, if I'm saying that right, almost like Brioni. Mm -hmm. but without the I and a lot less, you know, valuable. But B-R-I-O-N, I just happened to find out, and it doesn't actually say that anywhere on here, but just doing a little bit of research, I do think that that's what these are. And when you look up Prana Brion, there are 535 listed and 481 that have sold. But in general, these sell for anywhere from about $25 to $35. So they're not on the higher end, probably on the lower end, definitely a bread and butter type of item. And they have cool things on the inside, uh, born from the experience. So just really cool hits. These are quality pants. We have sold uh, one pair of Prana pants already, and I think we sold them for about $25, but we expect to sell these as well. But in my opinion, Prana is still a pickup. You probably wanna check it, but, um, but, but a great pickup, and it's gonna make you some good money. Good bread and butter item. All right, so let's jump over to the Y2K. You know, we can't make a video without talking about something to do with Y2K. So let's show you these. So these are camo pants. You know how we love our camo, all right? So these are like sweatpants. And we'll go ahead and show you the hit on the front. You are gonna know this one. And this isn't always a pickup. This is Ann One. And I think these are vintage throwback Y2K. We'll show you the tag on the inside. 
And when you look up and one camo pants, now I've looked up and one pants and it's a little more saturated, but because these are camo and because these are vintage, when you look up and one camo pants, there's 44 listed, pre-owned, there's 44 listed and 28 have sold. And these sell for about 25 to $30. You probably won't find these very often, but I throw these into these types of videos sometimes just to encourage you and challenge you, look up stuff. You hear me preach all the time about camo, but even if it's not camo, just something, even if it's a brand that you've heard of before and you're like, well, that's probably not good, check it. I, I saw and one the day that I found these and I was like I've seen a ton of and one and then something told me it's camo you've never seen one this camo I checked it and I'm glad I did because it's a pickup so always have your mind open and check stuff if it looks good it may be good you never know all right so let's move on to the next one this is one you're all gonna know these are joggers I'm gonna kill the suspense let's go ahead and zoom in on the jump man these are Air Jordan you see a lot of, obviously a lot of shoes, tennis shoes, high tops. It's kind of saturated. You see a lot of hoodies, t-shirts, all of that. But to my surprise, when you look up Air Jordan joggers, there are a thousand, pre-owned, there are a thousand listed and 973 have sold. So the, the sold comps are kind of all over the map, 20 to $40, maybe more if they're an older uh, type of, model but these look like they are newer but they're just simple joggers they do have but they have the jump man hit on the front so you might we might only get 20 25 dollars we'll probably get at least 25 these are in great condition but the sell through rate ebay is telling us these sell and so this is a pickup for us we also picked up another pair uh, they had a few little stains on them we're going to try to wash them and get them out they were a white pair they had some cool hits on them, and so we picked up those as well. So we're gonna use it as a test run, see if they sell. eBay's trying to send off a signal that says they're gonna sell and make you some money. So we're listening. Yes, eBay, tell us. Tell us the brands. Send them to us. All right, so we're wrapping this up. Now, this particular brand, let me go ahead and just kill this as Prince. All right, let's, let's show the, the hit on the back. Orvis, you are very familiar with it. And then let's show them the front. Orvis. All right. These are like a performance pant. The way I searched this was I searched Orvis nylon because these are majority of the material is nylon. So I just searched Orvis nylon pants for men. And when you do, when you search that way, there are 687 listed and 353 that have sold. Okay. So. You might say, well, Marcus, why are you sharing that one? That doesn't fit with the rest of yours that are right at 100% or over. Well, yeah, that's a little over 50% sell-through rate. We actually pass on most Orvis pants. I think we sold one gray pair and we had to lower the price to a little under 20 <laughs> in the high teens, okay? So we pass on most Orvis pants and most Orvis items in general. We just have, unless it's an older vintage item or something. But some of you who have watched enough of my videos, you know why I picked this up. And you know why I'm including it on this video. These things are orange. I mean, it don't get any more brighter and loud and wild than orange. And I shared that. That was a category in the Polo Ralph Lauren video. That's been a category in a lot of other videos uh, that I've made. This is just a Marcus theory, okay? I might be wrong and I'll get back to you in a few weeks or a few months if I was wrong and these boogers just sit for forever and are gathering dust in our store. But I don't think they're going to. I think these are going to move. So I, we got a 50% sell through rate, which is not terrible. And I wouldn't normally pick up others. But when I found these orange, in fact, I searched and searched and I couldn't find any. Now there may be some. I just did a quick search. I couldn't find any. They were orange and these are in great condition. I believe these are gonna sell for about $25 to $30 and I think they're gonna sell fast. Somebody who likes the brand and they see these, they're like, man, that's some legit colored pants right there. So once again, just wanting to share this, not telling you, please don't watch this video and then go pick up all Orvis pants. I am not saying that. It probably wouldn't be a terrible pickup, but it's not gonna be a great pickup either. It's probably gonna sit. 
But I'm just sharing this when you have a decent brand, maybe not a great brand, but a decent one, and you find something unique, unique sells, weird sells, off the wall, loud, crazy, popping, whatever the word is that you wanna put in, it sells, and I believe these are gonna sell. So be on the lookout for Orvis Orange Pants, but also just wild, crazy items that are a decent brand. They're gonna make you some money. All right, and we're gonna end with this one now. I'm just using these pants. I picked up these. These are Carhartt, so let's just go ahead and show you. And these are new with tags. And I'm not necessarily wanting to talk about this specific pair of pants. These are Force Broxton. You can see that too. When you look up the sell through rate, I didn't even put it in my notes, but I think there's like 19 listed and seven have sold, okay? So there's not that many that are out there. These are pretty cool pants. They're kind of like a cargo type of pant. All right, I believe these are gonna sell. They're because they're new with tags, we kind of have a little bit of freedom to ask what we want. I think they'll sell for probably 30 to 35. They're a bigger size. But the reason why I wanted to end this video with Carhartt is not so much because of this specific model, but just Carhartt in general. So there are certain items with the Carhartt brand that we pass on. Most of their jeans, um, if it's not new with tags, most of their jeans, uh, a lot of their um, shirts, button-ups, flannels, things like that. We've sourced a few of them uh, in, in months prior and they just sat, okay? But then there's other items that are such a good pickup. You've heard me talk about overalls and Carhartt overalls, the sell-through rate is really good. Hoodies, Carhartt ho hoodies are really good. But I don't wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about the pants and we're gonna flash a couple of sole comps. We've already showed you a couple of sole comps previously, but I want to share them with you again because it is so important, especially since we're talking about men's pants, that you want to be on the lookout. We yes. sold a pair of vintage camo carpenter pants for $85. We sold them lightning fast. Amazing pickup we got at a Goodwill for $6. We also just recently sold a pair of green, um, I guess they were a carpenter type of pant, at first, we thought that they were gonna be as valuable as the pants, the camo ones that we sold for 85. It turned out the ones that are that valuable have like an extra knee pads double on knee. them, double knee. And so the ones that we got weren't quite as valuable, but still we sold them for 32. Mm -hmm. We got them at a garage sale. You probably saw our sourcing video. It was just a couple of weeks ago. We listed them, they sold within a week or less. Mm -hmm. Carhartt vintage pants and just car these pants right here are gonna sell. Now they're new with tags. If they weren't new with tags, these might not sell for quite as much or quite as fast because they're a newer model. But I'm just wanting to put into your mind Carhartt, especially when it comes to pants. Not so much jeans, but when you see pants that are cargo, carpenter, camo, uh, some green, some type of odd color, and they look old, the tag might look kind of old, you wanna be on the lookout, a major, Bolo in the true sense of the word, it's gonna make you some great money, 30, 40, 50 dollars, all the way up to hundred dollars. These you want to be on the lookout for and they're gonna make you some great, great money. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to end the video with that. Remember Carhartt, it's such a great brand for so many items and it's gonna put a lot of dollars in your pocket. Okay guys, now that Marcus has shared with you those amazing pants brands to be on the lookout for while you're sourcing, I have a special announcement for you guys. This weekend, we're gonna be heading to Houston for a little getaway and we're gonna be doing a ton of sourcing and we're gonna take you guys along. So make sure you stay tuned. Houston has some amazing sourcing. We've been there before and we love it. So we can't wait to take you guys. We wanted to let you know that's where we were headed. We're still gonna upload our video at seven o'clock on Sunday night. So stay tuned for that. That's seven o'clock Central Standard Time. We are so excited to see what treasures we find out in the wild. So make sure you stay tuned. We're gonna try to hit some garage sales if they have any Saturday morning. And then we're gonna head to some Goodwills and maybe even some local thrifts that Houston has. So we are so pumped about it, you guys. Cannot wait. 
We also want to thank you for the incredible support that you have given us. Our channel continues to grow because of you guys and we cannot thank you enough. Make sure you like this video, comment, continue to comment on our videos. We love chatting with you guys. Thank you so much and we will definitely see you on the next one. Later.